Cut Entertainment. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to yet another Barbershop Bars brought to you by Barbershop Uncut. Today, we got a really special guest in the house today. And the main reason why this guest is so special, other than all the shit he got going on, which we'll be talking about in a little bit. <clears throat> but he is the actual He's talking so first... slow, too. <laughs> he's, he's... Today. <laughs> this day. I got to fill it in. <laughs> yeah, it sounds yeah. like... Hey, yeah. but this is the... He is the first actual artist interview that we ever conducted here at Barbershop Uncut. I want to welcome y'all, Old Man Saxon. Hey, y'all, I'm Old Man Saxon. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. I appreciate that. It's nice to be here. Thank you for being here, brother. We are definitely pleasure to have you in the house today, man. Tight. It's nice to be here. Right on, bro. <laughs> um, you so know, we can just keep going back and forth hey. for pleasantries. <laughs> hey, I just really appreciate. Hey, we got I, enough, we it's got really nice. Go <laughs> we got enough to go around, man. <laughs> Um, you got a lot of things going on, man. Um, Not really. No? <laughs> no. no? <laughs> Straight up. Um, yeah, nah. So I had... The reason we're doing this again is because I also... I didn't want to sound stupid because the previous uh, interview, I was like... I'm never going to perform again. I'm, I'm Mr. Moral High Ground and shit. Wait, wait, wait. And then I went home and I accepted a show offer. So I performed. And so I didn't want people to be like, no, no, I saw him perform. So I performed. All right. So that's one thing. And I just want to say a couple things about that. Don't judge me because I performed. It was really fun. It was really safe. And the thing about it was, <laughs> the thing about it was, is like, I was like, all right, um, yeah, fuck that. Like, I haven't, I haven't performed in nine months or whatever. But I didn't, honestly, like, the audience hadn't seen a performance in nine months either. So it was just like a little gift for me and them, I feel like. Damn, I sound like a bitch. Knock some dust off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, and I feel, it's like riding a bike performing. It was literally nine months. And I still got it. Yeah, straight up. How did it feel being at the pandemic? I know you say you did it safe, and I'm sure social distancing was was done to the the best it could be. But how did you feel about that? Um, I felt super weird. It was probably the most nervous I've been for a show ever, like ever in my life. Um, because first I wasn't about to perform, and then like literally a weekend I was like, all right, you know what, I'm about to do it. So I wasn't prepared. I had to remember all my lines. I forgot like most of my raps and for shit. Sure. But um, it was two shows, so <clears throat> I'm okay. First show was a five o'clock show, and there were children there, and so I had to like edit myself. But it, then there's some songs where I can't edit it. It's like there's a song that's like goddamn, 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 mm -hmm. and like well, fuck that little kid. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like your parents have said goddamn. This is why I wrote this. Yeah, yeah just sorry, like this. sorry, Timmy. So yeah, I mean that, and uh, yeah, just been recording. That's really all it's been. Good. Nice, bro. Um, one of the things, too, um, one of the things I would like to say that he's got a lot going on is he was in the barbershop cypher number two. Uh, if y'all didn't see, y'all go to YouTube and y'all check that shit out. Peep the man's shoes, man. What's up? Tell these people again about the oh, wardrobe, man. And like, What's funny? Uh, so I had these. Uh, so I get all my suits from a place called uh, Ebony, Ebony Men's Ebony Fashion. Man. Ebony yeah, Men's Fashion. Sure. And I saw a white dude in there the other day. It was weird. <laughs> um, but I got all my shoes from there, and they got these cheap-ass shoes, right? So the ones that you saw in the video, it's these gold, like, sparkly shoes. And um, I was performed in that in those shoes, and they just fell apart on me. Like, all the gold fell off. It was like, I was the most busted. I was dusty on that show. I had forgot that I had... The suit, the fly hit broken, <laughs> and so, the, so the first, the first uh, show, I had a piece of double sided tape uh, holding my dick together, or like, not my dick together, it's like Frankenstein, like holding the shit together, and then I, like, the, in between the show, I pulled it off, and it must have taken out all the sticky material. Is this interesting, Dion? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry, barbershop bars. And then I tried to put another piece of double sided tape, and it didn't do it. <laughs> Isn't this crazy? And so, I fucking had to put uh, safety pins. I'm walking out on stage with four safety pins buckled in, and then them shits fell out, and then my dick was just out the whole time. For hey. real? Yeah, I mean, I don't boxers. 
This is y'all favorite, this is y'all favorite artist right here. Yeah, y'all heard yeah. it from the horse's mouth. Y'all heard it from the horse's mouth. Yeah, y'all yeah, heard it. Yeah, yeah, this wasn't yeah. gossip from Barbershop Bar. Sorry, y'all. Uh, yeah. Lit. No, but um, <laughs> but again, bro, I mean, I think I think even with all that happening, people are just amazed just at the whole package, the whole aura that you bring onto the stage, you know. So those are the minor things that might have been going on. But when you step onto the stage, man, you definitely capture people's imagination. Yeah. And they're looking at you as a total package. Man. Thank so, you. Thank you. I'm I mean, sure it's the most important thing to me <clears throat> is performing. Um, so, yeah, this pandemic's fucked me up. But, yeah, it was nice to get back on stage. Yeah, straight up. So that, I mean, on a happier note, man, the last time we were here that we didn't get to air it, I don't think, um, was you had something else special happen in your life. You know, you got proposed or you engaged oh, to, your, yes. to your wife, soon to be wife. Yes. <clears throat> Can I keep talking or no? Yeah. All right, tight. Um, yeah, I got I got engaged. I bought her the ugliest ring I could think of. It's like terribly ugly. So I, she was like, <laughs> the whole thing was like, oh, I don't want a diamond. And I was like, fuck tight so she, <laughs> like, that's what's up so she was like uh i want like a ring with like my birthstone and your birthstone yeah 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 so i got this person to make a ring and yeah it's ugly but she loves me so that's it hey you know when somebody love you they're gonna they're gonna yeah. serve everything you got <laughs> yeah it's straight up you, bro, straight so. up it's like so. a it's like a ring that you would get in like one of those tw- like 25 machine mm-hmm. seats sh- machines mm-hmm. but like an expensive 25 like a dollar, a, yeah, a dollar machine, <laughs> machine yeah. and it charged tax too. Yeah. So you know, like it just yeah. you got put four quarters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And she can't say shit because of love. Hey, when you got a writer though, man, you you keep a writer and you do whatever makes them happy, man. Mm, so damn right. congratulations to you from all of us here at Barbershop Uncut, man. Tight. Um, before we get into the meat of things, though, is there anything you want to tell the fans that you have upcoming new music, any more uh, performance dates, or anything you got coming up at all? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> so I'm supposed to be... So I performed that last show at a new venue called Number 38. Um, I'm supposed to have more shows there um, next month and then in December. We just got hit with like another like COVID thing, restrictions. Yeah. Um so we'll see where that goes, but yeah, just follow me on all the socials, Instabook and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Instabooks, all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Heard them. yeah. All right, y'all. Barbershop Uncut, Old Man Saxon, the bar is open. Hey. Yeah. Hold my baby like a ring, I didn't splurge, yeah. Tour canceled, didn't work, yeah. Yeah, they saying I should blow up. But what's fame to an introvert? If we work quickly, we'll get in some top. Don't give me no hickey, get you a job, yeah. And yeah, I'm pissed at the cops, like, how you get charged just from missing some shots? Yeah, I body shit, number one in the box like Roddy Rich. Baby, back in what I need since you asking. White girl, X2, fuck. And the pack when I was younger, wasn't much for the drama. These days, old man gotta protect the mamas in my pajamas. Think we even now, watch me level up. Put your head down, head up, now I'm seven up. Never but scared of guns. If you start popping, you bet I run. What set I'm on? You talking tennis? If I see you around, you need to roll up out my business. Hey, what's the balloon's favorite music? Tell me when to stop, man, I'm off in a lot What you off ten a pop, man, them diamonds ain't diamonds Stop tossing them rocks, up. Yeah. Trying to buy the matriarch a house Won't sit there and just be basic Nah, I'm trying to give her the world Carry moms like I'm sissy space I miss NATO, hate potatoes Niggas say I'm broke, what the fuck do they know? I can make a bagel Last three days with a little wave O's And they go in mayo, don't mess with me I can make a a shit Hold off, took the friends quiz, the shit said that I'm Rachel. Nigga, I'm so lost. Slick man, I could use some tissue. Blowing on some loud, but I could use some mid too. Said you're tough, but I don't think you meant to. Throwing for your cats, but your gardener meant you. Ugh. Pardon me, you mad that I'm something you could hardly be? Be beneath me, your freeze is feces. I sit back, call me Rikishi, nigga. Old man Saxon. Barbershop bars. Kenneth D. Holmes. I'm Michael C. Jordan. Yeah. We're related. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. We out. Peace.
Uncut Entertainment. <laughs>